Welcome to Cuz We Can Farms. We are Heather and Kimmy, best friends for over 30 years. She looks like an angel with the sun behind her. And I mean that in the most non-romantic... A pig pen angel. <laughs> non-romantic way. Because we're not a couple. <laughs> no, we're not. All of this lumber has been milled off of my Woodmiser LT35 that I bought when I bought the property. It's definitely been a fun experience learning how to use this thing. And it's really, really cool to mill trees off of my own property to build the shop of my dreams. What did me? No, I just... I just didn't see it sliding on quite that easily. So that I draw my head. That's true. <laughs> I wish I could. No, it's scary in there. <laughs> it's my project and you know how things go. <laughs> I'm sure you're screaming at your television set for me to do something and I'm just not hearing you. <laughs> If you've ever thought about doing this, but then thought that people would make fun of you or think that you're weird, well, find your tribe because there's an entire group of us that live this way and absolutely have a blast doing it. I got mustard on my shirt <gasps> from corn dogs earlier. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. What are you? Because I'm hangry. Didn't you hear all those words I bleeped out? <laughs> <laughs> I heard them. The rest of them won't. She forgot the cheese. I didn't know about the cheese. Do I look Mexican to you? <laughs> <laughs> I look Swedish. Don't even throw out that I grew up in Arizona and Texas. <laughs> you should be the one that likes the spicy stuff. I have a s'mores, s'mores rack. And or a zucchini rack. Check out my rack. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I have to live with her. <laughs> Last year we began setting posts for a 30 by 50 barn shop. This being a first for both of us. Come along with us while we work on figuring this out and having a great time while we do it. Are we running? Yeah. Okay, we gotta get in front of it. Good morning! <laughs> 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 do I look skinny? <laughs> you absolutely do. It's this blue. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. So we're out here a little bit later. It's about 7, and we're out here later because it's cooler today. <laughs> and it's going to be cool all day. We are expecting rain this afternoon. So our goal is to finish the girts. We have zero wind, so hopefully that stays that way because it was pretty dangerous uh the other day and the smoke has been really bad um so we did not get out here yesterday because the air quality was absolutely terrible and we both felt it yeah um so today it's much better it's, yeah and the rain will knock that out completely so our goal is just to finish the two by sixes and then we'll come in i don't know we're supposed to have rain fingers crossed y'all today and all day tomorrow and all night tomorrow we need it so badly yeah hopefully it'll put out all these four these fires that we have going on around us i think the last count was between 15 and 20 fires um not anywhere super close to us so we are not in a bug out situation but we do have friends that are so uh prayers for that hopefully no lightning and we get lots of rain to tamp those down and improve the air quality um so i think that's basically it is the two by sixes now we know y'all are tired of seeing our backsides <laughs> so today we have flipped you around so hopefully you'll see the front side of us and still be able to see what we're doing and i hope that you've enjoyed these last few videos we've done them a little bit edited them a little bit different because we are doing a ton of time lapse you guys were just trying to get this done we're trying to beat winter and it takes a lot longer to bring the camera up close and and get the fun shots and the thoughts and to be honest with you um since this is so new i'm in my man brain as kim likes to say <laughs> So I'm, I'm very focused and I'm just trying to get this done. And my jokes fall short. I'll say something <laughs> and it's crickets and I, I start getting complex. So yeah, no one likes that. <laughs> so you are going to be seeing quite a bit of time lapse unless my son comes and helps and then he can take Kimmy's spot and she can man the camera up close. <laughs> but I guess we're going to get to cutting and putting up. So break it. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Is it this one or this one? 
It's the third and fourth. Yes, third and fourth. You're going to have to hold this. So let's tell them what we're doing. I know, but you're going to have to hold this. I will. Do you want to tell them first or after? <laughs> so what's happening is these boards are bowing out and we want to flip them around so that I'm sorry, they're bowing in. We want them to bow out so that when we put on the siding, it kind of pulls everything in and together. Still looks like the third one from the end is a little leaning in inward. Yeah, it could be the post is in a tiny bit. So one of the things that I have found with working with this rough cut lumber is um, it does shift on you, it does move on you. I've watched a lot of other builders use rough cut lumber, just mill it and put it up and let it dry in place. And I guess what I'm learning here is that the boards will still move, but within 24 hours, those boards had actually straightened back out to where they were before. We had gotten a lot of rain the day before, and that caused that particular side of the board to soak up more water than the other side of the board that was facing into the barn. So it swelled and caused the bowing. And we decided to just let it dry in place and see what it did and it did straighten back out. So that was really good to know. We do have a couple on the other end that did not straighten out as well. And I have some boards that I can replace with those. I'm kind of gonna try some experiments with them and see if I can get them to straighten back out and then dry straight. All of this lumber, these girts, they are a true two inch by either right around six inches. So it could be, you know, five and a quarter or five and a half to six inches. The width wasn't as big of a deal as the thickness of the board. We will eventually uh, do a house wrap. I'm actually kind of debating what to do, to do a house wrap I do have it already, so I could just go ahead and use it because I already have it. Um, put the house wrap up, and then if I end up doing spray foam and I have to remove um, a, site, a part of the siding to replace it or anything like that, the spray foam would not be stuck to it. At least that's my hope, is that I will eventually be able to do spray foam. We'll see. The cost is quite a bit, and, in, and if I can afford it, that's definitely what I would prefer to do. And then we will eventually, like I said, be finishing out the inside of the barn um, with some boards, either a board and batten type look without the battens um, to create a completely finished shop. Do you want to tell the folks what we're looking for? The pit fell out of the drill. <laughs> At least it's not yellow like the screw. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a close one. <laughs> I would really like to be able to work inside this shop in the winter time when it's cold outside. Maybe have a smaller heater, a wood stove or something that we could sit around and warm up and you know be able to work inside here when it's really cold and yucky outside. This was hard work, climbing up and down these ladders and the boards are heavier than regular boards because they are still a little bit wet and they are thicker, they're bigger boards. Um, Kimmy and I both definitely felt this job physically and um, we we did end up taking a day break after we finished 
uh, completely getting the girts on. Our next step is going to be shortening the center posts um, to the shortest post that I have, which I think is about nine and a half feet. I've had some people ask some questions about the two center posts being lower than the two, the end posts or the side posts, I mean. And those posts actually hold our six by tens um, beams that we have. And then the, the floor, the second floor, level floor sits. That's what we're, we're making out of that. So that really does pull the whole barn together and it'll make a lot of sense when you see us do it. One of the things that I have been struggling a little bit with is how to get that perfect height of those posts. Um, I do have a very inexpensive laser level that I bought at Harbor Freight a few years ago that I need to dig through my storage and find. And I'm thinking that what I'll end up doing is setting that laser level and drawing a line about a foot high off the piers and then I'll measure up from that line and find my height. It's it's extremely important that those boards, those posts are the exactly the same because it holds that second floor. So I've had a little bit of struggle on thinking with that. It would be really great to have someone alongside that has done this before that can guide and teach and show me how to do this. Um, YouTube has definitely been a help and we always have Randy that we can put a phone call into and we also have a friend KJ that I have been emailing and talking to about this who knows how to build things. So I have to say one of the things that I regret after I got out of the service was not going into the trades. This building has always been a thing for me. I've always really loved it. I love how things go together. It's been a always been an interest to me. My grandfather built houses and there is a couple of blocks in Wood River, Illinois that he built every house in the two block area. And those houses are still standing and they're beautiful and it's just a beautiful area and it's really neat to go drive those when I'm visiting and think my grandpa built every one of these houses. Okay, so as I'm looking at this, I'm, I'm trying to think of what I would do next time to learn the lesson. Um, I think I would have marked each one of these six by six posts in the center, like draw, drew a line. And then that way I know exactly where my six by, two by six would go to. So I would know to either pull it this way or push it or whatever to line those up to hopefully get the top exactly where it needs to be. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I know we have one that kind of goes out a little bit and we were talking about pulling that in. Um, it's this fourth, fourth post. Uh, and it's just slightly out. So I don't really know how we're going to get the ratchet up there because it's already scary on these when we're all the way extended out on these uh, ladders and we can't lean them on it. So... Now I have to stand here and man brain it. <laughs> See, if we had the line in the center of the post, which I could go ahead and do, mark the three inches before we cut and then measure that and make sure we're there. Then I could try whenever I'm up there screwing it in, grabbing the post and pulling it towards me to get it to butt up to that line. I think that might be how I handle this one. Um, but in the future, so future Heather, when you're looking at this to remind yourself of things, Draw a line at the center of your six by six posts. <laughs> that would be helpful <laughs> when they're on the ground. <laughs> Not up in the air. Not up in the air. <laughs> that second post is leaning out a tiny bit. Actually quite a bit, it moved out. So the second post we gotta adjust. Good. The end one is out. It's going in a tiny bit. So these 
and they're out of plum. Can't go down. Nowhere near where it needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that top one. The ladder's got to straddle this guy, I think. a good good girl that's a good recall go home call her again Caitlin she's in Victor's because it's but there's some witchery going on right here <laughs> how I, do you figure that out I think I have to take this all the way off and it's just tied onto itself seriously these are the biggest straps I have ever seen these are huge toe straps doesn't make sense. There has to be an end. Wait a minute. Who do we see? Anchors down. His wife uh, did this kind of. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. If y'all go back and they did a short. On it. If you go to the channel, say because we can farm sent you. Yeah. Let them know. They're new to our area and new friends of ours. We're gonna be going over there, checking out their place, doing some stuff with them. But guys, go over there, say hi. Really cool veterans. We like to support our veterans. Um, and if you don't, I don't know why you're on our channel. <laughs> but <gasps> she did this, so I think I have to. I, I don't know, this seems weird to do it like this, but okay. I have to ask my son what the heck was going on here. That is impressive, though. I would have never thought to take it out like that. Just got to find the end and then backtrack. I would have done it the hard way. <laughs> I started to. <laughs> Had to pull out my critical thinking cap. I'm sure there's an easier way. Ten hours later. <laughs> <laughs> Fast forward this, Heather. <laughs> We'll bring you back. I remember talking to my grandpa about, you know, I don't know how to do something and, and I'm going to do it wrong and it's not going to turn out right. I had built a barn on my property right after I got out of the service. I bought 20 acres in Texas, East Texas. And of course, first thing I put up is a barn. I had horses and I knew I was going to have other animals. And my grandfather said to me, he said, it's not about being perfect. It's not about doing it perfect. It's about figuring out how to fix the things that you do wrong. Nobody ever does any of this perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. And your good carpenters know how to fix those mistakes. So it's not really about not making them. It's about learning how to fix them. And that is how you become a great carpenter. And that's something that I've held with me throughout this entire build of let's do the best that we can, but when something goes wrong, it's really not a big deal. Then we just have to strategize and really think about how am I going to fix that and not get upset that I did it wrong. I, I grew up in a household where you weren't allowed to be wrong, so that causes me a lot of anxiety and I have to work myself through it. And it's those words that he gave me that I remember and that I hold close to me. So when, when you guys that are watching and you see something that we've done wrong and you point it out, um, it, if we haven't already fixed it or figured it out, it gives me that opportunity to go back and learn something, learn how to fix something that I did wrong, um, make sure that I wanted it the way that I did it, and add to my skill level. It would really be nice though if my grandpa was here along with me building this barn. 
it would make it a lot easier we will be using the tractor on some of these heavier pieces um, I'm actually hoping that maybe this weekend my son will drive the tractor and then I can climb up and down and get to these higher parts uh, it really does take a steady hand and he is really good at the equipment and so if he could get on there and hold these beams these big beams up while I cut them off and fit them to size and then screw them in that would be really helpful being that our ground is not level it's not been smoothed out or anything like that you know it does make this a little bit sketchy whenever you climb up on top of those ladders and um, get up high these side posts are right at 12 feet and our center posts when we cut them off will be right around nine and a half feet so basically this first floor will have a nine and a half foot ceiling Actually, it'll be the nine and a half foot plus the 10 inches of the beams, but the lower side of the beam will be right at nine and a half feet. And then we're doing an 812 pitch. I don't know, I might change that to a 712 pitch on the barn. Okay, you have any thoughts? I think I'm glad to be done for today. <laughs> it got a little scary there at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Key is you just gotta commit and go really fast. So you guys can tell that we have the strap there and that those are above the strap. We are gonna have to bring those back down um, so that we know where they are whenever we're trying to screw in our siding. But that post was, that was the one that was doing this and we straightened it. All the rest appear to be level with the level, so I think we're good on plumb. Um, I'm very glad to have the two by sixes on these two long sides done. We do have that section, but that's for another day. We are supposed to get quite a bit of rain, hopefully fingers crossed tonight and all day tomorrow. So if that's the case, we'll be back at it Wednesday. Um, but you guys won't even know because it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos. So we hope if you haven't subscribed that you do. We really love the support. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hit that like button too. Yeah. Bye.